Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. It is 17 after 7 on this 29th day of March 2021. Taking a look at Cardano here, uh, just kind of an update of what I talked about yesterday. Two inside bars forming here. Um, the current week, this one will end on the 5th of April, which brings us over to next Monday, I believe. Yep, next Monday is when uh, a new weekly candle starts. So last week's candle closed, and that brought us to an inside bar. Um, but notice on the weekly chart here, notice what's happening with the wicks at least, is the Tenkinsen is continuing to hold as our support zone. The Kijinsen is super, super flat. It's really, really, really flat. And this is actually, we're seeing the first time since this real big breakout occurred back on the 16th of November. This is the first time we're seeing a really nice expansion of the Tenkinsen away from the Kijinsen. Um, this is setting up for a really, really, really nice move. This is this is a textbook, depending on how you want to measure it. This is a textbook bull flag, um, which means that it's a continuation move. There's a lot of old school traders who trade American bar charts, not candlesticks, where they only trade these continuation patterns. And this is predominantly old school traders like that are in the uh, the like IBM options market or or they're in old school S and P pit traders in the futures at the CME, um, old stock stock traders. They a lot of them only trade continuation patterns like pennants and flags. And Cardano's got one of those happening right now um, on the weekly chart. I mean, this is a this is a pretty standard flag pattern. It's a it's a it's a it's a rectangle. Um, that's a default is purple. That's weird. Um, you know, this is this is just a very, very natural and normal uh, kind of thing that we should see as a sign of strength. Um, triangles like like a symmetrical triangle, a pennant wouldn't be as strong, uh, but a, a rectangle flag pattern is. So now the question is, where do you buy? Where do you put your buy buy stops? So. We looked at a couple yesterday, but one, because this is an inside bar, and we have a double inside bar. This is actually turning into a, um, a squeeze alert candlestick pattern. But above this high here is where we could look at going. So 137 is one area to look at. That's one level. The next, and really that would be based off of the current current week, or the next one is above the uh, the prior week, prior two weeks ago high at 152. Um, I'm not a huge fan of buying up there. Uh, if I, I, I re I'm really not a huge fan of buying up here either. But if I have to pick a, pick a level, if I had to pick a level to add at, um, where I have a high probability of prices continuing to move higher without having to retrace and move around all over, I would look at the 137 value area, definitely. So that's what I've been looking at. Or on any pullback, you know, in between, uh, if we if we get a drop below the tank and send a close below it, we're probably going to visit this this kitchen send. But you'd be crazy not to have a buy limit order down here. Um, don't miss any flash crash. Buy limit at 0 0.86. It may not ever get down there, but put on several, like Kraken is notorious for flash crash, like anomalous moves. Bitrix is. Um, uh, Bitstamp has some of these things happen too. <laughs> Putting these orders in there and holding on to them is not a bad idea because I mean, so what if they, you're tying up a little bit of capital for a massive gain if if you're if you do get filled? So you know, don't don't miss out on that. Um, otherwise, you could have a buy limit shortly 
you know, somewhere in between the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen on the weekly chart. Uh, and this is called lazy man's trading. <laughs> this is, and, and this is actually how, how really this is how everybody should be doing it. Uh, most people should be trading like this where you're not looking at a daily chart. You're looking at a weekly chart and you're going to wait for the market to come to you. You don't try to find things that are happening on the daily or the hourly because that's just nuts for cryptocurrencies. But the weekly charts, they work out great. Um, and on the weekly chart, I mean, this is this is great. We have, a, we have a flattening out RSI. We're still at 70, okay? Which is Which is good. Because we're flattening out and the RSI is at 70. Now, a lot of people will look at this and go, oh my gosh, it's above 70. It's going to crash. Um, no, it's in a bull market. So the, the overbought condition, when something's in a bull market, the RSI is at 80 and 90. Those are overbought. This is, this is not overbought yet, according to the RSI in the weekly chart. And then we have the composite index crossing above the slow average. That, that's positive. One thing that we want to watch out for is what is the percent B going to do? Hopefully the percent B bounces off of 0.8 and doesn't cross below it. So just watch out for that. Uh, but otherwise, that, that's what we should be looking for um, for long entries and continuing forward for Cardano. From all the Exchange Rates, GKTV, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.